Hello, my name is Anya, and today we are going to create the dynamic image slideshow on Bubble.io that you can rotate through using your arrow keys or by sliding on your screen. This is a cool functionality to add to your application, so let's get started. In last week's video, we learned how to make a, an image on our homepage that changes periodically. Let's take this one step further and use a plugin to make our life a little bit easier. I'm going to go to Visual Elements and down here click Install More. This is going to bring me to the plugin page. Then I'm just going to search up Image and choose this wonderful image slider by Rapid Dev. This has been added by more than 60,000 applications and it's a really helpful plugin to use. Once you click install, you'll see it appear under visual elements, and you want to choose this version too. I'm just going to drag it on our page, and now we can start to dissect a little bit of what it means. Here we can see that we have an image list, and some more things down here, as well as a bunch of CSS stylistic things. Under that we can see some more things about images, and than the standard things that we see on any visual element. The first thing we need to do is add some sort of image list onto this plugin. So it has a set of images to cycle through. The easiest way to do this is with an option set. So I'm going to go down to data and show you the option set I created. It's under this tab and an option set is a set of items that can only be changed by the app developer. This also means that it's easier to access in terms of database and time complexity. And you know that you're the only one who can access it. So there's less concerns about accidentally changing an integral part of your application's development. I went ahead and created an option set called Image Slideshow, and there are three different attributes to it. Display is a built-in attribute that every option set has, and it's essentially a fancy word for the name of an option set. We also have image, which is what's going to compose of the image slideshow and the list of images that we need to give it. Here I also have link, but I'm going to get into that in a little bit. I went ahead and added five different options, and I want to show you what it means. I added some sort of random name, but this could be anything I want. And then I went ahead and added an image to it, and then also a link. And I have a set of five different images, as each of them has their own. Now, we want to map this to our list of images right here. But we can't just click on image list, click get an option and choose all options because this is a map of option sets not a list of images we need to take one extra step and choose each item's image i went through that a little fast and this is important so i'm going to show it to you again i'm going to go down here to get an option and then right now i only have one option set so i'm going to select my image slideshow option set then instead of choosing one singular option, I'm going to choose all of the options. And for each of the options, I'm going to choose their image. This is going to give us a list of images for this to cycle through. Let's just go ahead and preview that right now. We can see that when and only when I click these dots, we can see the image change. And I currently have five of them right here. Now I want to show you some of the main components that you would probably find yourself using. One of them is a text list. For each of these images, what if I want some sort of label on them? Well, we can do this as well. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this expression. But this last part, instead of getting each item's image, I'm going to choose each item's display. Now let's reload and see what this looks like. You can change this stylistically down here, like I mentioned before, but I just want to show you the overall functionality. You can associate some sort of label and caption with each of these images, and we see them for each and every one. Now, the next thing I want to do is make it so that I don't have to keep, keep clicking these little dots every single time 
I want to see the next image. Intuitively, I should be able to click my arrow keys and see this change back and forth. So let's set that up. Again, using a plugin makes this super duper easy to do. And I definitely recommend going this route instead of building it by yourself, unless you have specific specifications. All I need to do is scroll down here and under switching with keyboard, I'm going to check that box. Now, when I reload this, you can't see my laptop, but I'm clicking the right and left arrow keys and we can see this change accordingly. That's exactly the functionality we want. Another cool thing this provides is switching with the mouse wheel. I'm going to go ahead and click that too, reload, and with two fingers I'm sliding on my mouse pad and we see the slide back and forth as well. There are a couple of other things you can do. And up here, you can even change some things about autoplaying. One more thing I want to show you is loop. When I click that box and reload, if I go to, there are five things in this option set, one, two, three, four, five. If I hit the fifth one, normally this would stop, but now it takes me right back to the first one. You can also figure out autoplay here, but I want to show you one more way that you can make this change, and that's really with workflows. If I go down to this workflow and click general do every five seconds, but I can change this interval. I'm actually going to make it shorter for the sake of this video so you can see this working. Then I'm going to go down to element actions, choose this wonderful image slider, and I can toy around with any of these, but I'm just going to click next slide because it's simple. Now, when I scroll here, we can see two seconds, this runs, and it switches to the next slide. This is not to say that we still can't move with our arrow keys, but it just means that every two seconds, regardless of where you are, it's going to bring you to the next slide. The last thing I want to show you is what this link means over here because it relates to the creativity of your app builder and some cool things that you can do with this. This is something that I found pretty useful when building some of my apps, which is a URL list over here. I'm gonna copy this expression over here and paste it again, but this time instead of display, let's grab the link. Now, by adding a list of links over here, when I click on one of these, there you go. And that'll work for any one of these. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope you can add this to your application. Before I let you go, there's one more thing I want to show you because I did not focus at all on this CSS things, but I just want to show you some different things that you can do. The most common one is probably going to be changing the direction. We can now make this full vertically. But then down here, there's a couple more things you can do in terms of colors, width, and texts. Thank you so much.